welcome to our next class. I'm so happy to have you here again. I'm sure you enjoyed the last one and I'm sure that everyone was able to create something beautiful. Creativity is creativity. Don't let anybody talk your work down. All right. So um, if you purchased the kits, like I always say, um, I'd like you to get two straps of um, the cream embossed paper. I'd like you to get two glitter mats, the um, A5 size, four orange colored embossed, the, um, yeah, yeah, antelope embossed. Then the um, green, the green mat and um, the black mat, A4 size, so one each. Then we have um, the templates we'll be using for today. The leaf template and then the petal for the flower. So also you need to get the three I know the one of the classes we already had we used the butterfly so we already have them cut out. Ensure you keep your templates safely. So one what one thing I do is that once I'm done I usually put them back into the file that I brought them out from. So get the biggest one one of the middle size or medium size and then one small one so I picked up this so you can pick the one that you like but this is the only um, big one that is um, on the butterfly template yeah so let's go ahead to what we have for today okay so what we're going to be creating we're going to be making complex paper flower with the orange papers we're going to make flower center we're going to cut our leaves and we're going to cut our butterflies. Let's go straight into it. Okay, so I'd like you to get your I would like you like you to get this template, your flower and um, complex flower template. So it's it has different sizes. You might want to number them just so that okay when you're working with them it's very easy for you. So what I'm going to do is take my pencil and number it from Top to the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have them all numbered. So well, today we're going to be using the one, two, three, four, five. We're going to be using the sixth one, the eighth, and the tenth one. So what, what I would like you to do is cut it out, um, the biggest one out first. Like I always say, it's best to have like a stronger paper, like cardboard, where you actually cut it on first so that you um, have something that makes it easier for you to trace. So let's start cutting. Okay, I know some of you might have difficulties with getting this, so let me explain to you. So this is the sixth one. You have to trace where the line goes all the way to the bottom and then make it thicker. Put a mark there so that you know the one you're, you're going to cut because there are like multiple lines there and you might just, you might tend to mix it up if you don't know which one you're about to cut. So just make sure that you can locate where six ends. So now cut it out. this then we have this so put this aside get your orange embossed paper here yeah. to the smoother side because that's where you're going to trace now like I said this is the bigger one you need to cut off this part just take your scissors right there and cut it off So we're going to trace this six of this. Take your pencil and let's go right into it.
and then cut it out but make sure you don't waste your paper because we still have other sizes we're going to cut Cut it out like that and then cut three. Now take them and cut them one by one, cut them out one by one. This is just three. You're going to have to take another paper and do the same until you cut the six. So now we have like the six. So yeah, keep it aside and then cut the second size. The second size is eight. So there you have it. This was six. This is eight. So begin to trace again. Now you want to check that um, you don't waste the paper we use it for so try to see where this can fit then trace it out cut six already i have a feeling that we're going to cut more maybe eight just so that our flower looks really full but anyways i have six here so you get um your you need to get this again and cut the last size which is size 10. that's a little one in the middle Cut through and trace just like we did for the others. So take your orange paper and do the need for. Okay, so I'm done cutting. The petals so <laughs> so it's hard to pick up all right so i actually added two so it's eight now instead of six eight of the small one eight of the medium size oops and then the large one eight too so what we're going to be doing next before we assemble this just keep this aside we're going to be creating the center piece call it flower center we're going to use this to build it here um, for those that do not have the straps let me measure it for you to tell you what I have here so I have about four about four inches by about four inches by twelve and a half inches so you can work with that if you need to create this size so now let's go straight into what we have so you have this you need to fold it into two like that fold it into two you know what is very interesting about this course once you've learned this you can do any kind you can create any kind of um paper flower any kind once you have the templates or once you can create your templates this is what i call templates so once you can create it once you know how to put it together once you know how to assemble um, a complex paper flower you can do anything so all those beautiful backdrops you see at weddings parties you can create them trust me so your opportunity <laughs> so once you're done folding do it for the second one Oh, good we have that two pieces take your ruler and take your pencil my pencil is getting blunt already so I'll just want to check it like this so there we have this so what we're going to do is you're going to take measurement um, of the whole 
paper which is about 12.5 um, inches so all you're going to do is you're going to take we're going to create lines so try to make um, marks of half inch so this is this is where you you have your inches here you have centimeters so centimeters inches so what we're going to do is we're going to use the um, part that has inches so half an inch is just that long line in between the um, edge of the ruler and one so the long the long line in between that's half an inch so you can see that the line is at every um, half inch so you have it there half 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 so we're going to make um, marks on the paper the beginning of the paper here and then the end of the paper right there so let's go right into that one two three four five four seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty 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 four and that so do the same thing at the bottom of the paper one two three four how can I help you, Anna? What are you looking for here? <laughs> okay, so um, what I would like you to also do is um this the part that opens up not the part that is secure so you, the part that opens up i want you to create a line but it's going the height of the line is going to be um half an inch too so take your ruler measure half an inch take a uh, mark it go to the end of the paper do the same thing there and then you connect the dots just like that Yes, just like that. So you have that line. Now you can see my dots. So I'm going to um, trace it all the way. It's going to help me um, ensure that my lines are straight. So that's why I have to do it at the top of the paper and at the bottom of the paper. So what I'm going to do is this. Can you see? I'm connecting the two dots here and here. But um, if I'm going to draw the line, I'm not going to let it pass the um, horizontal line I already drew. So I'm just going to draw it from the horizontal line to the top of the paper. So I want you to do the same for the other dots. Connect it, draw the line. Connect it, draw the line, draw the line. You set it. Okay, so I already um, drew my lines. You can see it. So make sure yours looks like this too. So pick, do it on the same, repeat it on the other paper. Then you take um, your scissors and then you cut through like that. Just make sure you do not pass that line, the horizontal line you can see. Do not pass it. So keep cutting. I'm done cutting beautiful right so this is what it looks like so do the same for the other one so once you're done with the two you can see that so we have this so um now we're going to be working with our gum okay so ready 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 so you take your you hate you gum or you who or you do whatever you call it so, and apply now where are you going to be applying you're going to be applying just at the base you know that place where you drew the line the um half inch line you're going to just apply it like this Oh, 
Let's just do it for two of them. So that we just make things faster. Okay. You have this, you do the same thing for the second one. <laughs> 